How you guys doing Eric here? Today's Saturday, January 12th, 2018. And pretty nice morning up here in Gilpin County. Kind of chilly. Feels a little more like January, but it's still pretty nice for January. Anyways, yeah, I got a job finally starting on Thursday. I'm gonna be working at the ski area. So yeah, that kind of, I called him, uh, you know, I had a couple construction jobs that I was trying to get last week and it kind of fell through. So now I was like, fuck, getting desperate for a job. So I fucking filled out an online application the other day and yeah, they called me up the next day. You're hired. It's like, it's a good, you know, it is a good thing that I'm a well-known lift operator for many years. It turns out that the new lift operations manager at Eldora is a, is a friend of mine. So, yeah, man, he was pretty excited to, to hire me. So, yeah, that's, that makes me feel good, man. At least somebody fucking loves me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Also, personal note, I, I rented out a room in my house. The guy moved in on January 1st, and yeah, I think I made a mistake, man, you know. It's it's kind of bad what you'll do when you're desperate for money. That, you know, the guy kind of, he's kind of getting on my nerves, man, I got to admit it, man. It's, well, last night, I got a little drunk. You, you might tell I'm a little hungover this morning. <laughs> Him and I kind of had some words, you know, I just, you know how alcohol is, is a true serum. You know, so it, the guy just kind of gets on my nerves, man. So I, 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 I kind of wish I wouldn't have done it, but on the other hand, I needed the money at the time. So hopefully, you know, it'll it'll blow over. We'll get along again. But you know, the guy just gets on my nerves because he fucking you know he just stays in his room and sleeps all day, man. You know, he just he's unemployed. He's like he's on disability and shit. He he doesn't have a car, so he's just kind of like. It's kind of like a pain in my ass, you know, and I'm like, fuck. He's always asking me to give him rides and shit, so. Like, today I was supposed to give him a ride to Golden, and I went, knocked on his bedroom door this morning. He's like, oh, no, I don't want to go. I'm like, fuck, dude. It's like the second, two days in a row, he wanted me to give him a ride to Golden, and then he just changed his mind. So anyways, yeah, hopefully it'll, it'll blow over and things will be better. One good thing is that he's be, he's gonna be the only reason why I rented to him is because he's gonna be able to help me out with my dog, you know. So when I start working, I, I don't like leaving my dog home alone. And so, anyways, ho hopefully it'll work out. You know, I get drunk and I'm an asshole. Yeah, that's the way it is, and I can become abusive sometimes. And I gotta work on that shit, you know. It's just getting used to having somebody in my house, you know. And maybe that's probably why I'm single, man, because. I just, I turn into an instant asshole when you just add alcohol. Anyways, that is a little bit of my personal drama going on. Yeah, but anyways, there's good news and bad news, you know. You're going to make it work out. Anyways, yeah. Big story this week. Or recently, our fucking turd-ass attorney general, I don't know, he did something. Some kind of legislation to fuck around with our legal marijuana. I'm fucking sick of it, dude. It's... This whole legal marijuana thing is a fucking, it's a ploy, man. I think it's a trap. They're, they're entrapping us, man. They're getting all people all in on it. Then they're going to fucking turn it around, man. Fucking scumbags. Fucking, they just need to, just need to fucking leave cannabis the fuck alone, man. You know, the, the most beneficial fucking plant on the planet. These fuckers just cannot leave it alone, man. Ugh, so sick of this shit, man. And then the whole fucking 0.05 nanogram driving thing. You know, it's making it's the reason why I'm fucking practically quit smoking, man. But it's tough. Every once in a while, I gotta take a puff. But then I then I get all paranoid after I take a puff because I now it's gonna be another 30 days before it comes out of my system, and I gotta worry every time I fucking drive because these fucking scumbag cops don't give two fucking squirts of piss about ruining my fucking life because I got a little bit of THC in my fucking system fucking sick of that shit man fuck it's just a trap man they're gonna 
a lot of people are going to fucking get in big trouble because the fucking feds. You know. Anyways, yeah. Fuck you, Jeff Sessions. I hope you fucking die. You know, it really pisses me off. It's like fucking alcohol is perfectly fucking legal, you know? Even though, like, cannabis is legal here in Colorado, supposedly legal, you can only have up to one ounce. And you can only grow three plants. It's fucking bullshit, man. That's not legal. You know, like, like alcohol is legal in Colorado. You know, they don't have a limit on how much alcohol you can be. You can have as much fucking alcohol as you want. You know, you know, they love their alcohol, man. It's their fucking instant fucking idiot potion that they fucking helps keeps their jail cells full. But it's really the most dangerous fucking drug in America is alcohol because it's fucking cheap and legal and it'll kill you. It makes you do stupid shit. Like get drunk and fucking yell at your roommate. And it causes people to fucking lose their fucking, their marriages and fucking all kinds of shit. But oh, it's perfectly legal. You can have as much of it as you want. It's fucking, uh, America's such a stupid fucking country. Yeah, man, they just love keeping that alcohol fucking legal, man. And they'll let you drink as much as you want. Go out and drive. Fucking ruin your life. It's just a fucking, it works out really good for the system, you know? They, they could do a lot of things to keep people from drinking and driving, you know? They could put a fucking breathalyzer on every car, you know? But they have no interest in keeping people from drinking and driving. They want people drinking and driving, man. It's a fucking big money maker for them. And then, so, and then here in Colorado, the fucking driving under cannabis, man. Even if you're not stoned, man, they can still nail you for it. So, yeah. I'm fucking over it, man. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, man, I do feel like a fucking asshole today. Because I got drunk last night. And, you know, and I, I start fucking talking shit. And, you know, when my, my roommate wants to argue with me. And I fucking get shitty, you know. Like, why are you fucking arguing with me? You know, I shouldn't do that, man. You know, I really, I need to be a little bit more diplomatic, you might say. But, you know, I, I, I have, you know, if you guys have watched my videos, you know, I have strong opinions, man. And, and if someone, like, tries to argue with me and I, and I know they're wrong, I have a hard time fucking backing down from the argument, you know what I mean? So I'm just fucking stubborn and fucking mule-headed, you know, especially when I, when I drink. So, yeah, it's a personality flaw of mine I got to work on. Maybe I'm a little bit too old to fucking change. <laughs> Anyways... Hopefully things will, will be better. At least I got a job. No, but a lot of it is, you know, it's just, you know, trying to like red pill people, they say, you know, like trying to truth people, you know, like, and they don't fucking get it. They, they, they don't ever want to get it, you know, trying to, trying to wake them up to, the, to all this kind of shit that I talk about, you know, and it just doesn't work, man, when people are so fucking brainwashed for a whole lifetime to think a certain way. It's, you just can't get them to fucking open their eyes overnight, man. It takes, it takes some time to fucking wake people up, but that uh, doesn't mean you shouldn't try, I guess, but some people are just too fucking, too far asleep, man, to ever fucking see the light, you know, and it just, I don't understand it, I guess, so I get, I get frustrated, and then I get pissed off, and I say stupid shit. Way she goes, man. Way she fucking goes. <laughs> So yeah, that's the way I'm feeling today, man. It's like, shit, dude, I hate this feeling I got right now. You know, when, when you fucking know you were an asshole the night before and you were drunk and you said some shit and then you got, you wake up the next morning and you're like, oh, fuck, man, what did I fucking do? Why, why do I gotta be such a fucking asshole? Now I feel like a fucking, like shit all day, man. I'll get over it. But yeah, anyways, I will be working at the ski area, so that should be interesting. I'll be making some interesting vlogs from up there. It'll be a, be a whole different change of pace, so something that you guys might find interesting when I start making vlogs up at the ski area. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.